The ages of people who attended a music concert was summarized in the table below. Okay, so we've got a whole bunch of people at a music concert. For example, there were people between the ages of 5 and 15. There were 20 of those people. Um, between the ages of 15 and 25, there were 25 of those people. So it says write down the mode, modal class. Now mode means most. So it's not the most as in looking at the 75, it's the most as in which category had the most people. So it's this one over here, 90. So that's the class over there. So we say 35, just write it exactly as they have it. There we go. Now, how many people attended the music concert? Well, think about it. There's 20 people there, 25 people there, 60 there, and you just add all of these numbers together. So 20 plus 25 plus 60 plus 90 plus 55 plus 40 plus 30. Just add all of that together, and there's 320 people. On the grid provided in the answer book, don't worry, we'll do that on the next page, um, draw a cumulative frequency to represent the data. Okay, now, to be able to draw a cumulative frequency, we need to know, um, or an OGAV, sorry, we need the cumulative frequency. This is just the frequency. So we need like another column over here, which is cumulative, cumulative. And so here you'd say 20, then 20 plus 25 is 45, right? And then 45 plus 60 is 105. And then 105 plus 90 is two, no wait, 195. And then 195 plus 55 is 250. 250 plus 40 is 290 and then 320. We said there were 320 people. So if you don't get 320 down there, something has gone wrong. Right, now, the way a cumulative frequency is, is this number here is your starting, your grounding number. So the number five, two, four, six, eight, ten. So the number five would be there. So put a dot there. That's your starting point, okay? But now, you're not gonna use these numbers anymore. Now you're gonna use only these numbers. That is how a cumulative frequency graph works. So you use this number as your little dot, and then you use these numbers together with these numbers, okay? So for example, the number 15 goes with the number 20. So 15 on the age, and then 20 on this column over here. So if I look at, 50, that means this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay, so 20 is along this one. And then the number, and then 15 for the age. That would be 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So 15 would be there. So where those two intersect, I'm gonna put a little dot. Now it's gonna be 25 for the age. So 22, 24, so 25 is along this thing. Obviously you would have a ruler. And then it goes with 45. So 45 would be between 40 and 50. So that would go along there. And so where those two intersect, like that. Okay, you get the idea. Let's do one more together. 35, so 35 is gonna be along here. And then 105. So 105 would be between those th over there. So if you had to go across, da -da 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 it would be over there. And then, yeah, you get the idea. So I'm gonna go fill in the rest now. Once you've drawn all of them, now you're just gonna try to connect them, not as a straight line. Remember, uh, OGIVE is like a curve. So it usually makes that kind of S curve. Now, if I'm just gonna quickly go back to the previous questions, they say, um, on the OGIVE, draw a cumulative frequency. We've done that. Now it says, use the graph to determine the medium of the people who attended the rock concert or the music concert, uh, the median. So median, we usually use um, N plus one over two. So N is the number of items or the number of people. So that would be 320 plus one divided by two. Um, so that's 321 over two, which is 160.5. So that would be, um, so if we then go to about 160, you could use like, you don't have to go exactly 160.5, you could just go 160, go across, and then where it hits, go down, and then you'd get between 40 and 42, so it's about 41.
but you might get like 40 or 42. Um, usually in an exam, they accept a, a little bit of a inaccuracy because obviously you might not draw your ogive exactly like this. Um, so it's usually not an exact answer that they need.